Hey guys, it's Vess here from Aussie RC Playground and today we're going to be taking up my Bixler with a few modifications. First of all, we've got some extra carbon rods here on both wings to stiffen them up. Also have an extra 4mm solid rod going through the center spar, which uh, the original one's actually hollow. I'm running a NTM motor, which I'm hoping you guys can see here. Um, from memory, I think this is a 2836 can't quite remember, I'll put a uh, link in the description for this one, I got it from Hobby King. I'm running a 7x4 prop, and over here, we also have an internal um, extra carbon spar in here as well, because this is a brand new fuselage, um, so you can see, I'll put some extra tape on the bottom just for some orientation. I've got the flaps working on it as well, and back here, there is an extra stabilizer rod um, going through this... Um, uh, through this rear ring and we've also got an extra carbon spar sort of going through this uh, elevator as well so the plane is extremely fast now it's actually a little bit sketchy I'm going to put it up in the air and I'm going to show you how it flies it's a uh, it's an interesting flyer now I'm going to be running on three cell 2200 milliamps and yeah let's put it in the air <laughs> So far, so good. Oh, right into the sun there. Bit of a loop. Okay, spinning it around for a low pass. Now this motor has a lot of power. I'm only going three quarter throttle here and it's going, going, gone. Full power and it will climb forever. Wow, it's really far away now. Okay, power off, let it glide. There we go, power on. No problem. Bit of a loop. No worries at all. Nice low pass. And full power again. Oh my God. <laughs> it is not meant to go that fast. I can see the, uh, the wings kind of, not so much flexing, but they're elevating up and down as it goes through those uh you know it goes through the wind and so forth it really is a little bit sketchy <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this thing has so much power okay i i take it back about the kinetic the kinetic was my fastest plane but i think this is faster the thing is the kinetic is i think a little bit more fun to fly I mean, this is fun, but it's, a, it's different. It's not as acrobatic. And you need, obviously, a lot more room for it. Um, while the Kinetic, you can get away with small spaces, or smaller than this one, anyway. I mean, look at that. And it just takes off. Once to, um, for some reason, I don't know if this is torque roll or what it, what's going on, but when I go full throttle, it wants to bank to the right. So cruising like this is not a problem. And yeah, if I keep it above, even above half throttle, which is here, just a little bit above half throttle, it's not too bad. But for some reason, when you go full throttle, I find myself having to counter it with a bit of um, ailerons to the left. So just interesting. See, I'm going full left with ailerons and it doesn't want to go. It doesn't want to bank. So at full throttle, something happens to the ailerons. 
I mean, this plane is not supposed to be this fast. This is ridiculous. Um, it is a lot of fun. I mean, you can see you can still cruise it around. I'm going around about half throttle, maybe just a tad below from what I can feel on my fingers. And you know, it's not so much of a problem. It flies pretty much just like any other Bixler. Whoa. Okay, I think we've seen enough. Actually, I'll do one more thing. I'm just gonna climb it. Look at that. It'll just climb. It'll climb forever. Okay, time to deploy flaps. So let me bring it around here. Flaps engaged. Power off. See if you can bring it in for a nice easy landing. Ah, oh, too easy. A little bit short, I would have preferred more in front of me. But that's actually not bad at all. Well, there you go, guys. The Bixler fully modified and uh, an absolute beast. A little bit sketchy, a full throttle, but definitely a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.